Hubitat just released a new version of the Hubitat Elevation Platform, version 2.3.2 for those keeping score at home. Let's go over some of the highlights. Up first, new compatible devices. We have several new drivers and newly tested compatible devices from Philips, Third Reality, Sinope, Lutron, Bond, EVVR, and Visonic. We've also added a new generic fan light control driver and a generic window shade driver for all of your generic window shade and fan lighting needs. For the complete list of devices compatible with Hubitat Elevation, and I'll warn you it is a long list, see the link in the description below. Next up, platform updates. You'll find some minor tweaks to several pages in the Hub UI, but the greatest enhancements have been made to the Hub Mesh page. If you're not familiar with Hub Mesh, it enables you to sync multiple Hubitat Elevation hubs together and essentially operate them as one. This update reorganizes the page to make it more user friendly, and it now allows hub variables to be shared and synchronized over Hub Mesh. If you have rules or automations that send commands to a large number of devices, metering should no longer be required thanks to improvements to Zigbee and Z Wave outbound series command processing. And finally, if you're wondering where the Z Wave exclusion went, wonder no more. It is back in the Z Wave details page, so exclude away, my friends. And last but not least, we have a brand new app we're very excited to share with you. It is called Room Lighting, and it is the one lighting app to rule them all. Room Lighting incorporates all of the features of our current lighting apps and combines them into one app. You can even import existing lighting rules you have into that app so you can manage them all through Room Lighting. Inside the Room Lighting app, you'll find a visual table that shows the state of your devices and your activation settings, and then you can control them all right there in the app. You can choose the means to activate the lights, you can do the means to turn them off, including options to restrict and limit your automations. It's quite comprehensive, so look for more videos featuring the Room Lighting app to be released on our YouTube page very soon. So those are the highlights of the latest 2.3.2 Hubitat Elevation release. You can read the full release notes, including all the bug fixes, in the link in the description below. The release is available right now, and it's free to all current hub owners, so go ahead and update your hubs right now. Or don't. With Hubitat Elevation, you're in charge. If you want to keep running an old version, you do you. We never force you to make an update you don't want to make. And we can't force you to buy a hub either. But if you don't have one, we think you should. Go to Hubitat.com, order yourself a shiny new hub, and you can be automating your home with a new room lighting app in just a few days. So that's it for us today. If you want us to keep making videos like this, give us a like right below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.